terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. Good morning, Lee. Hey there, Tara. All right, so we're finding out more. The story just grows and grows and grows. You know, Missouri and Louisiana have a First Amendment lawsuit against the Biden administration for mm-hmm. all the censorship that they have right. done. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I had been wondering because the federal government has been developing AI, censorship AI. We're told AI is so dangerous. Mm-hmm. Now Joe Biden's oh, yeah. saying, Joe knows oh, all about that. Oh, yeah. We're going to try to, you know, limit it. I, I guess he doesn't mean his own government funded online right. censorship yeah. tools. Yeah. The State Department, we're finding out, has actively marketed gun government-funded online censorship tools to big tech companies and gotten them to embed them. Okay, when you say actively marketed, that sounds like, oh, well, you know, here's this great censorship tool, and, um, you know, you might want to try it. Well, look, when the federal government comes to you yeah. and says that, and you know that the federal government's really the Democrats, and that at any time they could come break up your social media company mm-hmm. you're, you're gonna install it i mean you're gonna we've already found some of this ai in twitter we found the back door for the government bureaucrats to go in and literally change the algorithms so now i know why i have thirty thousand followers on facebook but struggle to get even 15 likes on anything i post and i'm constantly getting people commenting hey i came to your page just to see if you were still on facebook i never see you in my tweet feed anywhere i know it i'm sure there's a back door at uh, facebook too and I don't know, maybe Department of Homeland Security, FBI. I'm sure I'm on a list. Uh, Tens of thousands of people are. So the Federalists just broke the story. Uh, The State Department's Global Engagement Center sent uh, an email to business networking platform LinkedIn advising that uh, they should install a disinfo cloud That's a project that sought to identify disinformation online and disinformers. That'd be anybody telling the truth about the federal government, just so we're clear. Yeah. Um, GEC advisor. uh, So that is the State Department's Global Engagement Center, their advisor. Uh, Sam Rudin Stewart wrote to LinkedIn first in February 2020, requesting a meeting saying he was, you know, just tasked with building relationships with technology companies. And he was countering disinformation. Part of the reason for that is some people use LinkedIn as a social media platform. Yeah. Um, and others just try, you know, trying to market themselves. That can't be allowed if you're a disinformer. I feel like this is 1984. I feel like I'm like literally thinking, living 1984. I was just thinking that a moment ago when we were first talking about this. It's like 1984 arrived just a few years late. Yeah. Oh, boy. I mean, it's even more insidious because, you know, 1984 did not anticipate or at least as um, accurately as we know now in, in retrospect, the influence of of the Internet and social media on individuals and our individual um you know, freedom. It, it was more about, you know, what government is doing to the people and what it allows them to hear, not what it allows them to say. Well, listen to this. So the State Department, it was inter, you know, what was advertising, advertising is a really generous yeah. word. Pushing is a better word. Here, I'll I'll write it yeah. better. Yeah. Um, the disinformation cloud software to these tech companies uh, to help them quote identify and counter propaganda and disinformation. Hmm. Uh, now what would you, okay. So this disinformation cloud AI that is being pushed on these tech companies, I'm sure they installed it. They would have installed anything government asked. Now this disinformation cloud technology uh, that was put out by the state department's G E C again, um, the G E C uh, within the state department is the global engagement center. So it's part of the state department. What, what was the GEC doing again? Oh, they were the ones who put out the global disinformation index, yeah. um, which blacklisted conservative media as spreaders of misinformation. And remember financially attack them by putting this list out to advertisers so that they wouldn't, um, they would make sure and pre- remember they were they were spreading these big because she's like, you know, GM and all these big companies. They will use um, just a handful of advertising firms. Right. So they were right. putting 
the disinformation index out, the government was to these big ad companies saying, oh, make sure your ads are not on any of these sites. You want to know what trusted sites were? Huffington Post, <laughs> Slate, the New York Times and Washington Post, oh, who have my. yet to return um, their Pulitzers that they won for, for the their Alpha reporting. Bank story. False reporting. Totally fake. Oh, Putin is communicating with Trump through the Alpha Bank server. It's hooked up to Trump Tower. Uh, no, 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 and no, <laughs> no. They've never returned. They've never returned the Pulitzers. Those were listed as safe sources. Terrorists wanted here. The Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk ninety eight nine W O R D, the voice of the Carolinas.